Hey guys, welcome back to a new episode of Gunplay TV. We are on episode number 297 and look who is with me this week. It's David. Welcome back, David. But who are you? I am Todd and I am one of the hosts, I guess I should say, of Gunpla TV. Although if you look at the table, we have some non-Gundam stuff to talk about this week. In yes. addition to Gundam that we've built last week. My but God, we've got a lot this week. We do have a lot indeed. And look at this exciting box here in the middle. Let's get, let's get this one over with, shall we? So usually we... These are, this is the for, part of the Formania series. So we've had the Sazabi was... The Sazabi, I think, was the last one that we had. And I really wanted to buy that one. One of the problems we have with these Formania kits... Not really a kit. They're just like a pre-built type of uh, display item. Usually we get these things. And they are pretty much sold out. Yeah. Like the moment they go up for pre-order, just like, bam, we just take as many orders but as we can time... get. But this time, actually... <laughs> We've got a hell of a lot. I don't know, man. They maybe made a few more or what. But yes, this is the RX-78 GP-01FB... And we have quite a few of these left in stock. So if you've ever kind of wanted to they check are. out the Formania, this looks fantastic. Really impressive. It's I've like, seen some YouTube vids, vids that have gone up of them and the lighting and everything. You can yeah, really make you can, it. You can see it's got some lights. It looks like some lights here in the helmets and the shoulder. Although I hope I, I hope that's not just a reflection of these spotlights yeah, oh no. they have off no, the no, side. No, they, uh, they I actually do light, do light up. up. Yeah. Okay, I would love to open this up for you guys and show it to you, but... Uh, I, I our budget doesn't allow for it. <laughs> our budget doesn't allow for it, sadly. <laughs> but I just wanted to let you guys know that if you were interested in the Formania kit, or getting a Formania, then hey, now is your chance. This looks yeah, just we've got, fabulous. Just we've fantastic. We've got enough for all. We, yeah, we have, we actually we, have, quite a, lot. We have a, a few. Well, at least hopefully they'll last a little while. But yeah. I really, just looking at this, this is like from the waist up, so no arms, just waist, shoulders, and the head. I kind of wish Bandai would do something like this as like a model kit. The whole kit. thing. <laughs> well, that would be cool too, just like a giant jumbo grade, I guess yeah. you could say maybe model kit. But just like a waist and head display type of thing with a lot of extra detail. That would be a fun kit to build. Maybe, maybe someday. <gasps> Bandai's obviously listening, so. Who knows? Maybe, maybe they are. But and what else speaking, do we have? Speaking of other stuff that is coming, so you'll notice our little display in the front has also changed for this week. So next week we're going to take a look at Yamacho 2202. So actually, this one right here, this is the AAA class set. So it comes with a couple of. I think this one was called the Andromeda, if I remember yeah. correctly. So it comes with a couple of these ships. You get the carrier. The carrier version as well as the standard like dreadnought type version this being the mecha collection kit i don't know if you guys have ever seen the mecha collection kits before usually they come in like these little tiny boxes and bandai has always done the mecha collection kits like just like they had a standard box size and they would build the ship it was called like a box scale so the ship would be scaled down to fit in the box but lately bandai has kind of given up on that box scale stuff and they've kind of been going a bit more crazy with the mecha collection stuff this and for this one we've got like a, a standard size gundam box but it doesn't just come with one of these it comes with how many of these things are in the here whole it thing. looks like yeah it looks one, like we're two, getting three, four, five, five. Yeah. It looks like you're getting five different of these ships in here we'll so crack that open just to see we can indeed. and there's also one more cool thing that comes Whoa. with this set so like, yeah, that looks so really cool. So there is cool. quite a lot of in here. And oh, it also, does come with the board. We, this came out recently, Bandai last year, was it, I believe? They came out with this new style kind of display-based type yeah. thing. We never covered it on the show, so maybe this is a good time to take a look at it. Although, to be honest, there's nothing really fancy about it. No, it's it just, just allows you to put like yeah, two just, at the front and three at the right, back. Right, it has got like a little step to it, so that's kind cool. of cool. Although, one other cool thing about this is that this also comes with water slide decals. Not just stickers. So, a lot of fans out there like water slide decals. They cool. make it a lot better for painting and they just look really thin. So, that's really cool. But so. also, there was another ship that came out, not this month, although it came out, I believe, last month. And that was the... Ginga. Ginga. So the Ginga is kind of cool. It looks like it's the same hole as the Yamato class, <laughs> although it's got like these uh, giant window... Oh yeah, yeah, it looks like some sort of garden or something. Go, maybe it's got like a garden, maybe there's like a giant oh. shopping mall or cafe or <laughs> Starbucks in there or something. All you UK fans will know what, what this alternative meaning means. 
the ginga? Okay. I'm not going to say. I'm American, so I don't know <laughs> what a ginga is. We, we're, we're friendly for YouTube, so uh, <laughs> it's just a Gundam. All right. No. It's That's, just a, uh, not Gundam. It's just it's, a Bandai kit, right? It's just a, and maybe it's, it's, what, what's that, that one guy that reviews chicken? What does he always say? Oh, uh, that was, that was another British like, word. What, safe or? No, there's this peng. one. Peng. Peng. That was another one <laughs> I learned from pretty peng. YouTube. Peng. It's pretty much the opposite <laughs> meaning, but anyway. <laughs> so you got Ginga and Peng? Yeah. Ginga oh, brings God. the pain. Okay. All right. right. All right. But anyway. anyway that's, Let's talk uh, about what well, has been built. Yes. And we have actually... We have three. We have two kits that oh. are completed. We have, and this one I previewed last week, this is the brand new Sinanju Stein. Now you notice the red guy behind it. That's an oh, old, old kit one. I built a long time right. ago. That's the original Sinanju. I just kind of brought that in just to give a little bit of maybe a comparison. You can yeah. see the two side by side. Because this is the first time, I mentioned this last week, but this is the first time we've had the Stein in like HD format. It has a lot more detail. It's basically like a completely all brand new kit. I, it was a really joy to put together, but we'll go into that more in detail cool. in the close up. And then and, also- Oh man, been looking forward to this. I uh, This one came in, oh, I think it was last month or actually yeah, maybe yeah, even yeah. the end of September. Could have been actually. But then we had a whole bunch of other stuff and I had to get that Jagadoga, I think it was, the Jagadoga and this came out at the same time. So I didn't have enough time to do both of them, but now I've been wanting to get around to this thing. And finally, the moon. I kind of have a <laughs> second to get around to these things. And these two kits are actually kind of, if you know a lot about like the lore of the Gundam, they actually are a bit related in a way too, because the Moon Gundam was one of like the prototypes that kind of led to the Sazabi. So I brought back my RG Sazabi kit as well. So although I don't think it was actually the Moon, I think it was its like sister or the brother kind of mobile suit. It was a purple one. I can't remember the name off the top of my head. And that one was actually the prototype which led to the Sazabi. But actually looking at the Moon Gundam up close, you'll notice there are a couple of similarities and we'll yeah. show off those in the close up as well. So what cool. do you say, Dave? Shall we I get say we crack in and right uh, into the close up? Just ups? before you break. <laughs> just before I knock off one of the, <laughs> the, one of the gas one. tanks. But but anyway, yeah, let's have a look at it right now. All right, so first up, we're going to take a look at the brand new HG Sinanju Stein, and this is the narrative version. So narrative, I don't think it has begun yet. When was it supposed to start? I think end of November, actually, it's coming up. So cool. This is a cool kit. I really enjoyed this thing. Let me pull it off before it rotates around. Now you'll notice I do have, of course, I have here the original HG Sinanju that they released. God, how many years ago was the original Sinanju released? This has been like 10 years, 10 years or maybe eight years or something. But yeah, I mean, this kit here, this was actually, it's been so long since I built that old one, I don't really remember too well building it. You'll notice I never put stickers on it because I just figured someday I'll get around to just painting the thing, but never did. All right, so yeah, we got new body parts, new in, inner frames, at least from what I remember. I don't really remember the inside of the old kit at all. Let's just take a look here at the back. So it's got a kind of nifty looking backpack. It is kind of really a bit it's reminiscent, a little bit reminiscent. You can kind of see, but... This looks so much more detailed. Maybe it's also because you put stickers on it. Like, they are well, stickers, Well, actually, right? yeah, the only stickers that you have, there actually were not too many stickers involved with this sign. They had, the stickers were basically, let me put this guy down. The stickers are basically here for the chest yeah. and also for the sleeves and here on the propellant tanks. Oh, no way. The little red markings. So know. you have tiny little red lines there. So Just wait, do you have to put four detail. on because it's separate? Yes, you do. Oh, so God, each, horrible. so there's uh -huh. eight, a total of eight different stickers because each one is separate. So you mm. really need to oh, see quite if focus for you. So you need to kind of, I, I just use toothpicks. I highly recommend if you can find bamboo toothpicks, they're a lot sturdier than regular toothpicks. They don't break if you can find them. Oh, and there's a sticker here on the shield as well. And these really pop. Like, they do indeed. I, I really like that white highlight because the original Sinanju, those, those are supposed to be gold. Although there is one kind of thing I do wish the new shield had. You'll notice on the old one, there is the marking here on the shield. Now there would be a sticker that goes over yeah. there. 
But on the new kit, actually, there was no plain. engraving uh, underneath so you this. No so you will have to use a decal if they ever make a decal for this, or you're going to have to freehand paint that if you want to paint it or use the sticker. But for the chest and the sleeves, I don't want to pull off these stickers. But underneath here, just like the original one, oh, yeah. let me pull Let's this pull back out. out. So you see they have those those uh, lines they're actually molded into the plastic they do the same thing with the stein here so if you really wanted to do you could do the reverse type of wash where you paint the you paint the white on first and then you go back and then you you kind of wash in the black into the rec recessed lines yeah. or you paint over you paint over how what was it so you paint the white first and then you go over and you paint the black and then and you can use the you can use like a toothpick or something with a bit of thinner and then you can just take it off the you can there. you can take off the, the the raised portions and give you that kind of effect so that's one of the easier easier ways to do it maybe you we can cover that, that. With a shield. no you can't do that with a shield because there's nothing unless you chiseled it in yourself or something <laughs> yeah I but um yeah that. but hey yeah it's really cool i really like the details on this kit just looking at yeah, as uh, as Dave mentioned, this this kit has some really nice details to it, and yeah. it's pretty it's pretty sturdy kit. Although this kit does use poly caps, and there are a few stickers, but hey, it's still pretty good, I think. I really like the look of it. It wasn't a difficult build at all. So I guess and these pop out as well. Can they move move around? Not you, too much. But not they can too go. much. They they do have yeah they have that thing that that can move. I don't remember how it was on the old one actually. Let's see if I can pop this. These side ones move a bit. I wonder, yeah, maybe if you wanted, you can like make your own conversion with, between the two. Oh, yeah, that'd be funny, actually. But hey, that's pretty The face cool. is quite cool as well. The like face that. is really cool. I really love the, the looks of this kit. He's, the Sananju has always kind of been one of my favorites. Of course, the Sazabi has been the favorite, and the Sananju is kind of like a further development of the Sazabi. Yeah. So that's always been this awesome. Let's see, badass. what else am I missing that Ooh. was on this kit? Eyes. Look at them bad boys. Is that yeah, plastic? So, no, that was a sticker. So you do have the sticker there for the eyes on the inside as well. If we can get it to focus. There we go. Ooh, we got super zoom. <laughs> Alrighty. So uh, it feels like I'm forgetting something with this kit. I think, let me see if I can pull this off. I think if I remember right. Yeah, so his, ah, that's cool. his beam saber handle actually hides inside of his arm there. And they do give you two, two beam sabers. yellow, oh, yellow beam cool. sabers. So a staple, like one of the staples of Gundam kits. Yeah, so you can... I wonder how many beam sabers you've got. Probably more than the Gundams. <laughs> yeah, that would be interesting. I just throw them all in a box. I mean, how often do you display a kit with the beam sabers? At least I hardly ever do. I have a nice collection of beam sabers. But let's also look at the weapons before I yeah. forget here. So we have two cool weapons, and I really, really like this gun and this was called the high beam rifle so the high beam rifle actually on the inside of the high beam rifle That's although cool. i didn't i i don't remember actually where i have the original rifle for the old sinanju but it uses the original sinanju rifle this is one of the parts off of the original sinanju runner that comes with this kit and it has this new style uh light gray plastic that kind of covers over it to give it that nice more bulky this look this handle to it. bit is so cool and that really fancy. Oh, and also this actually, I mentioned this too. This oh, actually right, so. pops off, oh, and this right, yeah. can be like a separate type of gun type of weapon. So you have like different ways of displaying oh, cool. it. So I just, of course, I always like the more the fullest. Yeah, like the biggest that you can make it type. Of so thing. I guess you like this bad boy. Yeah. So speaking of big weapons, so we have the <laughs> bazooka, the bazooka and the grenade launcher, and this is actually quite a complex little kit to put together. It has really? a, it has a, a little bit. Well, compared to like a standard gun, bon, we have like a little gunfight. <laughs> so compared to a standard gun, you've got like a little tiny, a bunch of like little tiny parts up in here that you have to put together. And also, they do give you an option in here if you want. This oh, right, is the yeah, yeah. long barrel. But they also give you a short barrel. So a little chode. <laughs> there you go. So yeah, so we got that on there. And I don't, this thing should go still over it, I think. Or does it go backwards now? I don't know how that actually goes, actually. I'd have to look that up. I only set it up with the large barrel to begin with. And with the large barrel, this thing sits on top just All fine right. I think... as it is. But how was it for the short barrel? Thank you. Oh yeah, that's true. It's a bit yeah, for the short barrel, it just doesn't have doesn't the thing on top. It, okay. So only the, the the long version, you'll put that little thing on top. 
So, gosh, am I forgetting anything at all that I really wanted to mention about this <laughs> Sinanju? If you love the Sinanju, if you love Xeon mobile suits, or if you like Sleeves, which is the faction that kind of formed after Neo Xeon, then really, this kit was awesome. I really recommend it. I just, well, I just love it. Just think the face is cool. Yeah, the face is cool. I, I mean, I just like the more like villainy type. Yeah, it looks really and... top of like sinister. Right, I love the sinister looks. All right, so speaking What's of that? sinister, let's bring on over all the way. Have these guys standing sinister guard. Sinister at all? There we go. That's a good idea. All right, so next up, let's talk about focus the moon. <laughs> so hey guys, I'm mooning everyone out there. Although I think I made that joke with Lindsay when she was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, bet she, I bet you she didn't appreciate it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I think I held up the box to Lindsay and said, Lindsay, I'm mooning you. Yeah. So, yep, Moon Gundam time. And now, this is one of the kits that came out a little while ago, and I was really looking forward to finally building this thing and putting it together. All right, so two things I wanted to mention right off the bat with this kit is this kit does not include any polycaps. So I always love when they do that with the kits. It means it's going to be a nice, sturdy kit. No polycaps at all in this kit. And also, another Do -do -do okay. another thing that I love That's when nice. they do is no stickers. So <laughs> that's a Todd. That's a Todd phrase, right there. You know? <laughs> no, no stickers. stickers at all in this kit. So at least, unless they were in the box and I lost them. <laughs> oh god. But no, I don't remember any stickers at all being required the for this detail kit. Detail on the back is really cool. Yeah, that's uh. Let me. Oh gosh, where's the box for this thing? What did they call that special thing? They oh, called it's... it the the psycho plates. So what do okay. they do? I wonder if they generate like you know. I have energy. I have not read this series. I don't think this is an anime yet. I think this is only from a manga comic Concept. serialization oh. at the time at the moment. So probably someday I would imagine. I would hope That'll that we would yeah that we would get a series for it. Oh, and hey, looking at the manual here, it talks about the what I was kind of mentioning earlier about how this is kind of the development phase for the Sazabi, which is my absolute favorite suit. Oh, so yeah. the Var the Vargil, I guess. The Vargil is the original kind of prototype suit, which led to the Moon Gundam, which led to the so dun dun dun, dun the Sazabi. So yeah, they mention it's funny, they, they don't even mention that there's an HG kit of the Sazabi, they just go straight to the RG. RG. And there's nothing yet mentioned for the Vargil. I really hope that they do make a kit of this this suit here on the left because I really like the design of these suits. But let's talk about the moon. So let's put moon back up on there. Now, one thing I really, 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 really loved about this kit was the amount of details that they have. The hands. On, gosh, everywhere. Back. Yes, the hands. The hands on this kit. Let me get them in focus here. We got like the open jazz hands, but they did a really great job. Even, even on the hands, they have some really nice detail. On the inside of the fingers there, just... Oh, just, amazing. just on the inner part of the fingers and yeah, the, I even the like palms. this bit, the way that they've put that there, it covers right. up some and, of the joints. And you probably, it's maybe hard to even see that on camera, but these are actually different colors of white. Yeah. So you have like a darker Very gray slight, here, right? You, yeah, maybe you can, can kind of see it. it. A little slightly, slightly darker white, and then you got the lighter color white. So like the helmet's a lighter color white. And but yeah, just, just amazing amounts of details on this kit. So one, I mean, that is really great because you can take this kit, as they showed on the manual, that it was kind of a prototype for the Sazabi. You could take, let me drag out my real great Sazabi, one of my favorite kits of the year, and you can have these kits standing next to each other and just because of the amount of detail work they did on the moon gundam it doesn't really look out of place compared to the rg no. kit i mean if you were to have just these two kits on the shelf probably nobody would even really know that they're different, different grades because yeah. to be honest most normal people don't even know the yeah. between grades anyway but yeah just this is just just intense right just the amount of even extra under details the, uh, on there like on the shoulder plates you can see yes the, on the uh, shoulder plates there whoops he's died yeah, my poor RG Sazabi. So yeah, I mean, this is another thing. There's no the stickers. Back of the hands. I'm sorry, the back, back of the, the elbows. Yeah. Yeah, no stickers. So you have the yellow in there is actually cut molded colored parts. Oh, and this is a kind of a cool little feature too. Although yeah. I don't, I'm, I'm afraid I'm just gonna uh, break it if I try to mess around with it. But so that comes out. Yeah, this actually should come out, and you should be able to connect stuff onto it. I'm not gonna. <laughs> I'm not gonna bother with it. I can't get it. Let me see. Did the box mention that at all? So it has some really cool stuff that you can you can do with this kit. Let me see. No, they don't. 
Although they also, they show here on the box. So okay. I have the, the shield set up in that format, but they have it also, you can take the, oh, what was the name of that thing again? The psycho plates, and you can fold over the psycho plates and you can make it into this style. Of a dub what would I call that? Like a jam sandwich? Um, <laughs> no. Oh, here, here it is. Here's what I was trying to uh, find yeah, for you. Yeah, yeah. So those things on the arms, you can slide them out and they give you these little tiny effect parts. And let me see if I can show you the butterfly how edges. Small the butterfly the edges. Can be removed. These things are just tiny. tiny. So yeah, you get these little four little, little shards, tiny effect parts and you can attach that to the arms. Jab someone in the face with them. Yeah. <laughs> you also get a nice rifle. Focus. Focus. So this is kind of what I was mentioning earlier, how guns are really kind of not really involved. This is just literally like two yeah, pieces. That's just, two so pieces that's like sandwiched together. a lot together. different to something like... Something like something that like bazooka, that. yes. Yeah. This weapon was really awesome. They did put a lot of attention into that one. <laughs> Another thing to mention here, let me see if I can bring up his face closely. So you remember those really cool looking eyes on the Stein? Yeah. This guy, actually, they're clear. So there's no, since there was no stickers on this, oh, yeah, what they have done see. is they give you the option for the clear. So this is just this a is piece clear. of clear plastic on the inside. And because inside of the mobile suit is dark, you can't really see, see anything. anything. But they also give you a green piece here. Mm. So you have the choice if you want to have just the green eyes or if you want oh, to have the clear. Okay. So on the box art, they've yeah, got that's the another green thing. So on the box art, he's got this kind of like glowing, glowing green eye look to it. So which is a lie because they don't have, have any LEDs. You have options in for the eyes. Let me put this guy back here. So you have that options. All right. So what else did I want to mention? Of course, you get a quite a few different hand options for this kit. You get you get one trigger finger. So oh, there you there go. go. So he's a bit triggered. You can see really nice <laughs> detail on that hands. And then you also have like, I'm going to punch you type hands. So you get two of the closed hands, one of the triggered fingers. You also get a cool, cool little beam effect part. And of course you can also see that he is on a stand. So oh, yeah. it comes, comes with it. It comes with its own action base. And I think it was called Man. the five. And what's cool about this one is it's actually like a translucent clear black yeah. so i really like this color i wish i really wish that this was actually like one of the standard colors that you can buy because now you have the option to buy the solid black or you have the option to buy the solid white but they yeah. don't have this type of translucent this translucent thing. color and i really like the look of this one it looks fantastic with this kit this kit was a joy to build i have to say actually the moon gundam the hg moon gundam was really one of my favorite, favorite kits mm -hmm. of the year so and that's kind of really awesome for me because i love the sazabi and of course the eight the real grain sazabi Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> the real great Sazabi is, I probably am going to name this my favorite kit of <gasps> not allowed to 2018. Say that. Am I not allowed to say that yet? Maybe we should save it for like end of the year. Yeah, we should Best do that on 300, like a, a really quick rundown. Not, right. as, not as detailed as 200 episode. But. Right, well, another thing also, I, I wonder how long is that episode going to be? <laughs> Oh yeah. Maybe it should be saved oh, for. Oh, we should definitely do top like top comments or something like that. Top comments so of the Todd year. Todd has to read. <laughs> oh my like goodness. Ten pages worth of comments. Ten pages of <laughs> comments. Oh, that would that would take forever. Oh, <laughs> let, let me see. Let me, one more thing I wanted to mention. So this was hiding uh, here on the back. You probably didn't even notice it. And my axe. But on the back, this just just <laughs> plugs axe. in right. I I really like how this axe holder is just kind of made into the backpack there. And yeah, you can pop that off. And that's what that effect part that I showed you earlier was for. Oh, I so, get it. Yeah, so, yeah so it makes sense, right? Because it's not always gonna be on. Right, it's not always gonna be on when he's done with it. He just pops his little tomahawk back into his, his back. back there. So yeah. that's kind of cool. Really cool feature. I really love this kit. Highly, highly, highly recommended if you were a fan of. This is kind of cool because this kit kind of appeases to both fans of just regular Gundam. Yeah. And then also to fans of the Xeon suits, because this is like the prototype that led to the Sazabi, and the Sazabi itself, of course, led to the Sananju. So that's kind of why I go. figured these two kits, this, the Moon and the, the Sananju, had style, to they be kind built of, together. Yeah, yeah. They, they kind of, they go together in a way, because they kind of, this is like the great granddaddy of the Sananju in a way. Or actually, the granddaddy, because it went from... <laughs> We went from the moon to the Sazabi, and then we went to from the Sazabi. Went ne next was the the Sinanju. So yeah, he's kind of like the grandfather. So that's kind of interesting. He's got a little bit of Gundam history, as far as at least as far as my knowledge. And we'll leave it there with him mooning you guys. And <laughs>
Ah ouais, c'est la haine. <rire> Okay. I love it. I do too. Moon, moon baby. A lot of HG goodness this week. For sure. Um, I'm just going to be looking forward to you building these two next week. Yeah. <laughs> Your weekend's going to be full. It's going to be quite full. Actually, there's more plastic in that box than I was expecting. But then again, you think about it, there's five. Yeah, that's Five awesome. of those ship kits. Wow. So Can't wait to see that. I'm going to have to like maybe just do it like assembly style. Just... Yeah. Just crack them all out. Just crack this them one all comes out. with LED, an LED, so we'll this one does. It looks like that. it comes with the LED, so I'm going to have to see if I can find some LR forty ones. Yeah, those well. are. I, I, you know, I need to just buy like a large box of LR forty ones. We should try and stock <laughs> them here. We've got. We uh, go through so many triple A's, but yeah, we go through a lot of triple A's, but the LR forty ones. I no, we definitely don't uh, have them. Anyway, let's anyway, get on to let's some go to comments. comments. Yeah. So, do you always pick the hardest names to? <laughs> Chitom, Chitom. Chitom! Yeah, anyway, so he says, finally showed something. Super Mini Pla. Yeah. So we did, we showed a few, and, uh, or did I miss an episode? I don't think you did. No, I don't think no, so. No, I think that that was it. Okay. And he wants us to uh, show more items of the line. All right, but, so. Um, I kind of mentioned this when we were talking about the mini plot in the last episode, maybe the episode before it, but it's a bit hard to cover the mini plot line because, like the Formania here, those kits kind of come and then and go. boom, they're gone. Like we had the Go Lion. Yeah, that yeah, one, yeah, yeah. Went in like. Well, I, it's already, I, I really wanted to do that Go Lion one. Went order stop straight away. Right. Or the, what's the English name of it? Thunder or something? So, I can't remember. But you guys will probably know what I'm talking about there. But yeah, the mini plot kits, I, you know, they're interesting. They have a lot of interesting subjects. Yeah. But yeah, they they come and they come they go up for pre-order. I mean, we probably then... could go to like a supermarket. <laughs> and buy them. Yeah, those kits are all available it's at the really supermarket. Weird. But it's like they they go out of stock here yeah, out of really stock, quick, right. but. They stay forever in the supermarket. The supermarket, and then sometimes at the supermarket, they get if, if you wait, yeah, you can yeah. wait, and they'll be half fifty percent off. I do that with the Pokemon stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you just have and, to keep your eye on it. Yeah, exactly. But that's only something in Japan, so our viewers yeah. can't Sorry, really do that. Oh. But um, anyway, second comment is from right. Zero Double Zero Gravity, Ew. and he says, "Thanks for the wash and dry brush tutorial." Yeah, yeah, thank that you, was awesome. Scott. I can probably Google this, but will there be any issues with top coat of these two processes? Okay. There may be. There may be not. All right. So this kind of depends. It depends on what kind of top coat you are using, I would yeah, say. Yeah. If it so, had any like paint and a base to it, yes. it would probably take it off, wouldn't it? So like GSI Creos, Mr. Hobby, they have two different kind of top top coat layer or top coat type of uh, brands that they do. They have the lacquer based top coat, which is really good if you want to have more of like a sturdy, durable top coat. And you can put this on maybe after painting, but like not, but like before decal. But then they mm. also have the the like the Mr. Hobby was it? Oh, Mr. Hobby. It comes in the blue can, and that's more of like a water-based top coat. So that one actually would be safe for doing yeah. over like dry brushing or doing over that type of stuff. But the other one maybe not. So what I always recommend, and what you should really always do in this kind of situation, because living around the world, you're not gonna maybe have access, access. to the the best hobbies products that we have like here in Japan. So. Test out whatever you buy, whatever top coat you are using. Test it out. Maybe do yeah, get just like use some a spare runner, parts. An old runner or Try something. Try to use the yeah. same type of plastic. Just paint it a little bit. Do some. Just do a little quick wash over it. Do a little bit of dry brushing over it. And then take that top coat and, and then spray it, it over it and see how yeah, see how it reacts. See what it does. So I mean, sometimes you can put like the cheaper version on before, and if you want to make it more durable, you can put the other one on because then it, it's not taking off. It's not going to dissolve. The well, undercoating. It depends. Lacquer is really really aggressive, dead. and Ooh. it can like. Belt. So well, I just suggest you try, like Tos says. Yeah. So yeah, just 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 whatever you have, just test it out. So I mean, it could, it, it <laughs> might be safe, but it might also not be. So just like I don't want to give you a definitive answer. Like yes, you're going to be safe. Yeah, I don't depends. Because then you're going to melt your 
you're gonna melt your decal or your your dry brushing is just gonna completely disappear. You'll be like, Todd, you told me it would be safe. <laughs> so Todd's top tip is to try. Just test. Before you always test. That's a good thing. I mean, it's a good thing in life always. Just test. Yes, okay, yes, but yes. now it has come to the HOJ giveaway. There For is that time. How much? <gasps> I think it starts with a two. Yes, two thousand yen. Zeros? Two thousand yen. How many One day it's gonna store credit. Get bigger, you know. Inflation. Inflation. <laughs> <laughs> you never wait know. twenty years. <laughs> twenty years. Oh mm. gosh. Thank but anyway, years. yes, It'd be a like lovely two thousand yen. Yes, indeed. All right, two. and. Two. The winner of this week's 2000 Yen Hobby Link Japan store credit is going to go to comment number 25, and that is Neon Wave. Awesome. All right, so let's what ride the wave. And Mr. Neon Wave, or Mrs. Neon Wave, says, would have been perfect if you guys used the yakety sax music during the combination. Oh, I read this comment. Up. Okay, so I, I chose the music. It was like uh, some compila compilation of Warner Brothers. Um, what was it? Uh, what's the <laughs> <laughs> Road Runner? That's it. Oh, okay. Road Runner. So it was like when you did the making right. of the thing. <laughs> so it was just that. Oh. But if I'd have used the uh, yeah, like exactly. a real song, I think oh. we'd have got striked. Coffee so strikes. I All really right. type of want to use that song sometime. Oh, but I, I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Yeah, YouTube, YouTube really can be tricky sometimes. Yeah. You don't know what you're going to be struck down for. So we've got to play it safe, even though we have uh, mentioned uh, this model right here. Yeah. The, uh, what was it? The, the Ginga. We're already dead. We're out. We're just... <laughs> but what's a Ginga? <laughs> I'll tell you afterwards. Anyway, um, so 2000 yen is going to be going your way. Yes, probably indeed. Via so we'll email. be contacting you shortly on hobbylink.tv. All right, so that also brings us to next week's episode. Yes. If you would also like to win 2000 yen Hobbylink Japan store credit, all you need to do is go to hobbylink.tv, find episode number 297, and write post anything. a comment. Todd, and we love you. Yes, just say, Todd, we love you, and that will win you 2,000 yen. <laughs> but also, please uh, like and subscribe and yes, hit the bell indeed. and everything, all that jazz. All that jazz. Um, also, one thing, we're coming up to episode 300. So, ideas, we're all out. Yeah. We don't know what to do. No, we, we've got a few plans, but if you think of anything really cool, write it down in the comments. Yeah, that'd be interesting. See what you think. Um, well, we have some stuff like that we want to do, of course, but yeah. like, if there's anything out there you guys you really like want to see. Um, maybe have a look at episode 200. See yeah, what... go back. Do you remember 200? I believe that was my first day. That was like a whole episode about my first day at HLJ. Yeah. That was so long ago. Wow. Really? <laughs> it really was. It was quite a while. <sighs> so wait, how long does 100 episodes of this take? Gosh, it's been two years about, I think. And you've, have we ever missed, an, we've missed a few episodes. Was uploads. it three years? <laughs> you've been here too long, mate. <laughs> like two and a half years, maybe. It's crazy. But yeah, anyway, write down in the comments. Yes, and, indeed. Uh, maybe we could have an episode dedicated to Todd leaving. <laughs> <laughs> Sid, Ryan, now it's my turn. Goodbye, guys. Okay. <laughs> Anyway, with that, <laughs> goodbye. <laughs>